Have you been Red Hill? You used to be a school. You used to be at Red Hill in, Sembi in Red Hill School. Oh. You used to be a school there. All these used to be houses, all the way down on oh. both sides. They'd be back to back houses, yes. were they? Yeah. Ah, ah. Uh, back to back houses. And this were, what, a poppy? What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, further down. Ah. Further down, just here. Oh, just here, that. Yeah, it used to be Tommy Burns. Not, not there, but Pop, do you? Can't remember. No, no, Tommy Burns. Tommy Burns. Ah, Bur no, he would have pop. And he used to do turns. <laughs> yeah, he used to turn and dressed up as women. And we used to go and watch him. <laughs> Get dressed. Round about it. Uh, ring with the Oh. Yeah, but see, ring with the uh, What What did he do? I've, I've contested yeah. them, didn't he? Aye. Can you remember it? Yeah. Ooh. How yeah. old are you now? I'm 63. And how long are we going back? Well, now then, I was about. Well, I was born in this street, and it was here then. So you'd That's be, uh, what, eight or ten years old, yeah. would you be? Mm -hmm. well, you, you say you used to play in there, didn't you? Yeah. In boxing ring. Yeah, used to be that. Play in boxing ring. Best of three rounds, eh? Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Frost. But me made a win with Collins. Which school did you go to? St. Vincent's. You go to church? Yeah. Which one? St. Vincent's. And where are you living now? On Edward Street Flats. What do you think of Sheffield these days? All right, where we are in Europe. Do you prefer it these days to old days? No, old days. Uh, old days. You're not with yourself? No. Well, doing, right? Ah. Well, go. Right, George, I'll walk up to it. Oh, that's it. Are they Yeah. What was this place, Joe? These are little hand boys, yeah? You see, in some of them still, it's referring to old fellas, or what have you. Life will be too bad in here. But uh, they still remain to old fellas and. Uh, See him and Arth, and that's his bush where he would quench his stuff. This is where they did the, all, all these are a row of little hand forges. That's his arm. Uh, what's that, Tommy? Oh, there's another one in here, silly boy. None of George, you know. Oh. Mind you, having said that, it's all good, and I was once he left. Can they see in here? Yeah. Wait, so, ah, I see you, and uh, yeah. Bellas. Yeah. And, that's where really another half there, so they. So this is where they used to forge? Ah. You don't know what firm this used to be then, George? It still is at John Petty, yeah. Is it? Uh, then we have signage outside. Yeah. So it's all this disused now, apart from him using it as a one-man band version? Ah, from what I can see, ah, I mean, I can see there's no sign of life, is there? Oh, no, no, no. Three hours.
1938. And you work on your own? Yes, I do now. Yeah, when I started, I had her about six And what are you making? It's still stamped. Ah. to see today, I know you don't, because you do it job, but I think it's wonderful today to see no these crafts right. being done yeah. on an anvil there that must be 100 years old. That's 
That's right. George Cunningham, eh? Alan Drabble, isn't he? Alan Drabble. That's where he was when he first started. Yeah, that's what he used to do. Well, that's what he used to do when you first started. Yeah, but this side, Hamble. Like that. Oh, yeah. And he got on the other side. And what were you knocking out with them, then? Look, these were having to in there, having to do on my own now. Haven't you found in years that arms have lengthened a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting looking Albert. Looking Albert. Have a look what they think. Look at that. Look at these steel plates he had for running wagons on. That's what they were for, didn't they? Ah, that's how they want damage uh, uh, set aside. Oh. But I want you to look back here. The prices are not high. Ah. And I don't know what I've noticed, but uh, when we go out, I'll show you something that's a bit interesting about this path. No, they're here. Oh, right. See, where gate posts used to be here. Big gate posts. There were another one here. Oh, wow. Right. Another gate post, see. That looks like it could be caretaker's house or something. Here. This is new, isn't it? Obviously. Oh, right, that is. But this is all original, isn't it? Good God. When was this last year's George, you know? No, no, but it's a shame, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's... It's criminal. Grindstones set in. Right. So you, when they got down to that size... They're not good. small to use. They start off about four foot diameter. Yeah. And as they go down... Uh, uh, they started off using big blades and all that, yeah. but as stone got smaller, lighter trades took it like scissors, grinding scissors. And when they got down as small as that, they were no good. So they set them all into... Well, so they used them for now, see. Ah, rather than throwing them away, they used them to for paving. Ah, all these are grindstones here. And just recently being concreted over. Good God. Oh, yeah, wonderful, that. I can't imagine it now, obviously, but uh, in its day, this is how it was built, and it's one of the biggest cutlery factories in the world. Was it? Mm. When would it? When would its heyday be, George? Oh, its heyday would be in the um, 18, uh, late Victorian days, 1880s uh, onwards. But, uh, earlier than that, it went back out much earlier than that, 1850s, 1880s. I've got a thing I like to show you, though. Uh, Andy Smith, uh, elected at the end of the First World War. In memory, as it says, of the men who worked here, who fell in the First World War. This is for the family firm. Once you're in peace, you can see the And were they known as being good employers? Very good employers. And if you started here when you were 13, and most of them never retired. They didn't retire at 65. They just carried on working. Did they? Yeah. Worked whatever they could because they loved it. Yeah. And this, well, it employed the, the finest tradesmen in the world. Their catalogue uh, must have been a, a foot thick. Which the and they were known for quality. Used to compete for pre-war. The Queen Mary held it, uh, Mauritania. 
and uh, I believe it's uh, finished up in America, didn't it? SS America. Uh, well, there must have been hundreds in five years, guys. Oh, yeah. Eh? Aye. Did they actually manufacture showing production of steel helmets, hot steel pressings and stampings for liquid fire and gas shells. Submarines wow, lined wow, the airplane. Oh, it's first work. Oh, it's first work. Wow. Huh? Oh, you produced all this for that? You used to do that. See, that one, that's one of the original. Dixon patterns, oh, it's going way back. It's pewter. It's all just pewter finish, that's it. It's all to broad mostly in Switzerland. What's that? Uh, it's a Chippendale, that. Chippendale. That's what we call Chippendale. But uh, that sort of pattern is. Uh, we sold to Switzerland then. Broke in Switzerland by them. Beautiful, aren't they? You still make uh, that, plastics, not that. What's the handles made of? That, that one, particular one, is, uh, it's a plastic. That's a cheaper set we make. We do it, but these are pewter, all pewter. Well, that's one of the original sets as well, which is what they used to do originally. Yeah. But uh, it's a much softer material, but the base metal is most, more expensive. It's dearer than nickel, you know, but not as dear as silver. But it's more, it, it is expensive. But most of drinking mugs, I mean, that's an original way back pattern, that one, that was way oh, back. Oh, that's tradition, one. isn't it? But, I mean, they can get tankards in town, in Sheffield, and they'll get three weights, same as that. Ah. You know, that's ah, all. Ah. What they used to do way back, 100 years ago, it's a uh, tobacco jar. Oh, it's a tobacco jar, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and there's no soldering on that. That's spun up from a disc. Oh, wait. Uh, There's uh, no, not a, one bit of soldering on it. Even that knob is... Uh, yeah, it's part of the lid. Mm. And bottom base is just trapped in. But Dixon's used to do that in various sizes for years, you know. It's, it's what's going on there. I thought you were mashing tea. No. <laughs> what is it you're doing there? Is it acid? It's cleaning. No, it's no, just it's a degreaser. <laughs> and we partial gilt some things, you know. We go play partial. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I thought I was rushing it. Oh, that would be better. Show him what that we should call it. See, that gold. That end point is gilded, isn't it? All that part is gilded, see, so that's what it is. Oh, stamp, 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 it's it's silver plate at first, then it stopped off with this red uh, wax or whatever. Yeah, uh, coated. Then it's gold. It's hung into the gold vat, see, and gold plated that part. They're only fetching back no. off. James Dixon, the founder, yeah. and he was strict. I should imagine. Oh, I think so. You see, you were trained as a future. Oh, I like that way. That way is all the original. Oh, oh, from 1829. See them? All them, them arches are good windows. Yeah. We've got a black keystone. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, that's the original. All the ones like that with it is the original building. I'm with you. Oh, Caught you working. No. Right. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Same to you, George. Right. That's all. Well, we might catch it, but the first part of here, formed here and processed through this shop. There's only two men working like that. Can you go through it for me and see how it's yeah. done? Let me see that particular job is good. He's just flipping.
How long have you been doing this? About 19 years now. Have you? Yeah. And this will be one of the original presses, I suppose, how it used to be done. Yeah, I should imagine so, yeah. See, look to the bones, see. Got ah. some up there, bone. Yeah. You get rat tail now, you know what modern one you can buy? We, yeah. we, sometimes we do sell another quality on it, a smaller, lesser quality on it. It's done in flat light and it's all done when they do bowl as well, but that's put on first, as you can see, and then it's bowl after. So, these are, these are, these are being problems, there's no, uh... See, but, oh, yeah. the intention, the idea is, see, normally, you've got to get that without any right. oil in here. You've yeah. got to get it smooth as well, well see, that's the idea. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good yeah. sun pattern, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Mm. Well, they were going to tell the, about... Milo Dixon, one story he tells, when he, many years ago, about a chap who was working with him. Yeah. Don't you think we could do with a new press? You know. No. So he said, well, there's plenty of life left in that. He said, I can remember that when it was first came when I was a lad, I was only ten. He said, and it was second hand then. Yeah. <laughs> so I should have to think how old this is. Uh, what, what, what happens here, Gordon? Well, this, 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 what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Stand in here. That is the operating lever. Yeah. But they put a belt on it, see, they work it with a foot, like that. And the old work, in dive here, like that. And that, picture work pattern down. Handle tool. Different patterns, I hold it, you know, and they all full sweet of each pattern. Because there's all that many different pieces in the tree, there's 38 pieces in the full tree. Now I'm with you, yeah. You will learn from mustard spoon, mocker spoon, coffee spoon, tea spoon, American tea spoon, dessert spoon, soap spoon, table spoon, serving spoon, soap ladle, sauce ladle, so ladle ladle. At one time of day, all this lot. And every pattern's got all that different dripping spoon. Oh, the one you just been talking here, when it was over the whole day, the one you just been talking here. And every every process virtually was done in it. The rolls go that way and they, they go in the door like that all the time. Jesus, right. That's just in the new one. That one. Ah, uh, now back. But, but still you. Oh, ah, it's easy to click now. See these pillars? They put them in to show it building up so you could get that old. These old pillars. The all different thicknesses, see, for different sizes. It's like a teaspoon, uh -huh. as opposed to a salt label, you know, you go from one extreme to other. Because yeah. of the thickness of material, you know, you've got to have different thicknesses. That's various thicknesses of what we've got. Well, I'll show you, that's a really old guillotine, that. Hmm. That's, that, you never see that. Cheeks, I'm going to see it. Good These are rolls, what we all roll pewter on. We only buy ingots and we roll it to sews. And uh, it's driven with that. Look at that flywheel. Look at the size of that. You talk about having the Elliot Dust to Lamlet. 
En daar. Wat is het? Wat is het? Wat is Oh no. Well, I like that, I think it. Yeah. And this is just how Dixon's used to work probably a hundred years ago. Good God. So if like that diver in there, what yeah. they do, you're going to stamp that particular pan. You run tin and tin, or first of all you do a lead one, a lead force, what they call a force. You put the, the beds in there, yeah. you run molten, build it up with clay round yeah. there, then you run molten lead or and tin in there. Then you lower that onto it. Yeah. Now that's ribbed or it's gated. It's gated so yeah. And that picks up into that force. When yeah. it sets, you lift it off, so then you've got a force and a bed that fits it exactly. Then you stamp it down a bit to bed it in. Yeah. Then you put your metal in and bang, away you go. And that's how they do it. Good Lord. And all now these that have to have got a force on. It's not being off. Now when it comes to take it off, you just have to chisel it off. You know, and then, then they melt, melt the lead and all. Well, this is skilled, don't you? Especially on the big end. They're all like patterns. They, these are stampings. They're all patterns. They're, they're all made they're made what's made. come out of them things. See, yeah. they stamp it into halves like that. That's a clean hand, see? Yeah. Stamp it into halves in a die. They have a die like that. Yeah. To stamp that. Oh and they right. get the two halves out, they clip that weird stuff and solder it together. And they've got a, a teapot body. Good God. All these are the stamp. All been done on these. It's placed in underneath that bed. Yeah. And you're going to stamp this octagonal, it's an eight-sided, it's octagonal tray. Yeah. Out of nickel or silver or whatever you're going to do it on. Round this edge here, they build it up with clay. Proper, ordinary clay. Yeah. And to about that height. Then you get a molten tin. And usually, with a thing like this, they'd only have a force that came to there, say. Huh. You know, they wouldn't bother about that bit. So they'd run molten tin all round there, like that, when it would set in there. Then they lower that head onto that tin. Yeah. It squashes clay out of there. That's why they use clay, because it's yeah. go good. It's, they leave it till it's almost set, you know, till it's going off, you know, just yeah. chilling. Then they, they lower that on and let it set, and then, of course, when they, they then pick that up, yeah. you know, through the, and it lifts it up, and of course it takes the force with it, because that is ribbed underneath. Yeah. So now you've got a force on, fixed onto that, that is exactly, will 
bled straight into that. Yeah. This is fastened in by these spigots yeah. here at corners, various. Then they drop the hammer, bang it down, see, to bed it on yeah. onto the, um, the die. And then they, they put a piece of metal in the stamping up smaller. Yeah. They come down here, well, we need this. Is they are part of our group, we're in the same oh, group as Lancelot. 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 Yeah. Did you used to come down here, George, when you were working up? Well, no, uh, when I was a kid, I started at Cooper Brothers, and I used to have a lad a bit, and I pro probably have been, and they, what are they going to do with that? They're going to turn it into a technological campus, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to knock you it down. You know them stamps in there, what they got? Stamps. Mm. I, I saw them when they were taking them out, and they burnt them off, rather than undo them. Didn't they? And scrapped no. them. No. Honestly, they, no. they burnt them off. Mm. They don't know what they got. They were, they were too much trouble to unlock bolts. And they just burnt them off. They said they were only stuff that could do it. Strong. The stand they, I mean, if, if they banged it straight onto rock or concrete or what have you, obviously they'd shatter them, bang yeah. and all sorts. So they had to have some. <laughs> This is the die here, and the die sinker would mark it out round a, a template, the outline. Then he'd start cutting, he'd rough it, as he called it, with a, a chisel, hammer and chisel. Then with smaller chisels, he'd start cutting this outlining. And then with little punches and what they call traces, he would cut these in. All this pattern. Now, all this has got to be absolutely highly polished. No marks whatsoever. It's got to be done precisely to a depth to accommodate the metal. Don't got to be too deep or too shallow. Hmm. And how long were you doing this for, George, this kind of type of work? Uh, 44 years. So now just getting into the swing, then, it was a fact uh, Started at 14 at... Um, Nine bob a week. For, oh, nine bob a week. 45p a week. 
Was it recognised as one of the more skilled jobs? I would say it is. <laughs> no, he's a pal of mine uh, it's at my island. He thinks he's the bloke the MGM or something like that. Come on, we're doing some spinning, this is not to work. Ah, he's only on the part in the tie. That's what I don't know, you know. It's only wonderful doing something like that. That's all right, that's OK. Well, it's the same side either, but it's a dull side. So what? These bodies here, they've all been small. Yeah, it's, it's when you're doing these jobs, to you, I mean, they seem no, and yet they are, they're, they're very skilled jobs. Yeah, all those, uh, all those angles, that's it. Just show you a little bit, uh, hold up. Ah, right, yeah. That's yeah. 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 your male and your female again, that we've been saying. Oh, oh, oh well, well that's what I would call it. If we pause this open metal into here, and as soon as we pause it in, it throws it back out. Now watch in here. Now what's happened? Why have you done that? Because so he's just made a skin. Rather than sell it. He's made a hollow handle that. You know, how can they make a hollow handle like that? You can throw a thing too, it can only be, what, 16 to 106 walls. That one won't because it's got moles cold. No, but I mean, it's too thin like, isn't it, you know? Make them less than half a weight to a solid one. Yeah. So it's cost, yeah. Are you fishing about right almost instantaneously? Well, as more will get sort, you have to wait a little bit longer. Like, you know. Good job. It's a beautiful angle. I mean, uh, if it falls, it would Yeah. You just scrape that fish off and, and buff them and fold it with that. Seat. What about burning yourself? Do you get many burns? I do. I, won't, I can't carry on like there's been no gloves on no, no, no. for long. I've got, I just can't see, it, see my gloves. See, these are those little See, if moles are not hot enough yet. Oh, look. That's the only time you get any accidents if there's damp in moles and they, they explode. That's metal when they've explored up. Look at it, get a tin shampoo. Well, that's the steam instantly, there's no way for it to go apart from blow out. Well, I used to make things right. Did you? Oh, it's hard. Nice and good. Yeah, I was, I. And how long have you been doing this? This particular job, not long, four or five years. My own job, 16 years. Well, this, this is not part school. of the spinner's job, this. We don't have to do it now, because there ain't enough work uh, to, for a, to employ one, somebody just to do that. What's it? Pewter, is it? What is it? Tin? Tin, 94% tin, is it? 3%? Finish your one off. And what's that doing? What? Right in a minute. This one box ring. Oh. They're pumping away in that thing there. 1886, they were produced in this factory. Yeah, they were manufactured, it says, Royals Patent Self Pourer, manufactured by James Dixon, some oh, Sheffield. Well, that's where we come down in this factory. <laughs> it looks like with the M1 here, doesn't it? Where? Really? Oh, yeah. That's where we come down here. And turned into this archway, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is us. That'd be the license. And all these cabinets are set in Tickwell? They're built in. Have a look. 
And this were done in 1829. And there's some really early pieces here then. No, not in there, they did normal standard stuff we sell. But, oh yeah. Uh, there is well, here, there's some antiques in here. At one time there'd have been canvas stuff like these, weren't they? They're antique, they're original. I tell you, I've got a sink up to the knees in carpet. Mm, I think that's fairly modern. Carpet. Eh? Good quality. Can't be down a bit, but. <coughs> Here's a plate of 1749, we'll have us. Uh... Oh, uh, look at that. If I saw that, I should go crackers. Well, we have to tell us how much I think when they get back. That's a very good thing. National Trophy. As I said, don't put that stainless steel crap up front. I, I, I was telling uh, Roy about Blue Ribbon and all, didn't they? Oh, hard, he did that. Blue Grand Ribbon. National 65, he did that. Oh, the cup? Ah, Grand National Trophy. That's another one. They were different every year, you see, under Mirable Toppen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that one. <sighs> oh, isn't it wonderful? Look here. These are power flats. They work. They work. Oh, this, these might not in here because he puts all sorts of junk in here. But that's that's basically what. Are they gold plated down underneath? No, it's brass. That is that brass. But that's all brass. It's a what a Colt Walker flask. Okay. It's on a spring loaded. It's a different pattern. There's no mm. trigger to that. It, and that's a that's a ball chamber. Just just let him get a, a view on it. He's trying to get a. Ah, oh, yeah. it's a different set. There's five settings on that and all in here. For quantity of powder, powder that, that goes in. Uh, and all this was sold today? Well, we've got order for 350. That, then, US. Oil bottles. Oil. You know, for guns. You have a oil, you know, feather on. But they turned up front flat then. Do they? Ah, old Peter Smith does then. Well, it's a feather that's in it. No, it used to be. Uh, uh, it's what they call a feather. feather. Oh. No, it's not a feather, but it's a piece of metal flat. But when they take it out, there's oil on it, and they, they can pull it. Whenever you want, on oh, no. ah. Wipe a bit on. But we do about 14 different powder flasks, with all different nozzle settings, you know. Ooh. U.S. Historical Society had a lot of that liquor and silver plated, which they used to do. But they used to make all these breech, these bullet making machines. Oh, and all they? Here. Come here, they used to make them here. Way back. Some nobility in this place. Oh. Yes, Aga Khan. The original Aga Khan well, came Wigan, here. Not Wigan, weren't they? Oh, in 18 summer, Tammy, and I was all cavalry at Lockcombe. Didn't they? Yeah. Just away you were. These pictures are somewhere. Just away you were. Gold. Gold, weren't it? And I was not enough. In one of these books here, somewhere, there's a scrapbook, one of them, and this picture of when Aga Khan were here. Well, Gordon, I'll tell you this, it's a these privilege not to see you. Then what? These journals, 1858. No, whatever they were bought, they used to purchase them for, but that's as how long they are. They're original. Bart Dixon's in it, eh? Mm. Well, he used to have it, you know, the art journal. What sort of, oh, that one there, does it lay on its back, that part there, that one at back? Ah, it, 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 it on sits back, back ah, some of it sort of. And there's a cavity at, well, at the front, I don't yeah. know that. I don't know, I don't know it was made here, that. That's the original Dixon's teapot. One of them. One of them. It's a melon set, but it's silver plated as well. It's silver plated pewter, which is what Dixon's used to do as well. Uh, but it's, it, it pivots on that stand. And this, it's this, this, this part here, this, pivots up to that. Uh, uh, you know, and that's still being produced today? Today, yes. This, uh, this part here, the original part of the building was. That's right, it? yeah. That's why all these cabinets are built in. I want to show you when we get downstairs, we sort of remember there's a big old gateway, uh, doorway here, isn't there? Yeah. Stone doorway. That's what main entrance. Ah, that's what I'm thinking. In them days. Oh, I see it, isn't it? These are spirit flasks and snuff boxes which are still produced today. Yeah. Only it's, only, it's only a small selection on them, that. But they're, they're original they now, isn't it? Nah, then. Or here. Down at this. 
This is Gordon, by the way, production manager. Is it mention that? That is the original Israel Harvey box. Because engraved on it. Israel? No, this is what they call the chap. Captain Israel Harvey, read what it says. It says, uh, Israel Harvey, 1st Rifle Brigade, Waterloo, June the 18th, 1815. And what was that That's then? the original. What was it? Well, well, this, this box, it's he must have box. used it. It was a cap box. <laughs> uh, they used caps for their guns yeah. and pistols. And that was used in Waterloo? Yeah, he yeah. used it there. And where are you? It must have been. Yes, it was, see? James Dixon and son. That's a treasure. We still make that box now, but that's the original. Mm. That's that's, that's hundred and seventeen one years old, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it will be in June. And that fact, we still got die for that. Great still this will be the, what we call the Great Exhibition of 1851. Yeah. That's the original medal. That's the original medal that was presented to Dixon's for quality. Thirteen. Class thirteen, well you can see there'll be various That's class classes. Class thirteen, ah, they did two, they, they won two and that. But they got some first part. What's that gone? It says on it, 1853, 18, and April 1855. Napoleon? Napoleon III, Emperor. And I don't know just what it's for. Palais de la Industrie, so that's... Palais of Industry, Industry. Isn't it? That must have been some, 1850, round about the same time, but that's Napoleon III. Medal. He must have been on throne then. So far ago in 1805. I should know I was here. <laughs> 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 oh, that to be made at the same time as Trafalgar. Yeah, yeah. Well, the good Well, he was a one-man band. He was a, a goldsmith, silversmith, chaser. He could design uh, buildings. He, he worked a long time building fortifications. He was a great lover of his period, and he turned out work. Workmanship like this. One of 6,030 spoons, 90 spoons, made in three days by James Dixon's sons for Lord Wolseley's army in Egypt in 1884. Taken from the dervishes at the Battle of Tosky in 1889 and presented to James J.W. Dixon by Clyde Dagila, Lieutenant 17th Lancers, 1890. Can you just get a shot on, mm. that, uh, on that printing? But, uh, you get it a year after. But is it, is it, it's like good enough. Uh, isn't it? it will be in a minute because I'm going to go into the microphone. That's the actual spoon. What that spoon? Look at this for, 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 for craftsmanship. Well, this is modern and all. Uh, but these are all <laughs> copies of all. Remember no Torcellini? Well, he was one of the best ones. 1813 is date. Does it give you prices? Well? It gives you prices, but you, I can't, to goods. £10.17 and box six shilling, £11.3 shilling. This is, uh, look at this one here, this is interesting. Mr James C. Nielsen of Boston in America, 1815 June, to goods. I don't know what that is, £29.13. Ditto, £50.2 and tenpence, 1916. See, that was his account, weren't it? That's mm. James. Easy. Poland, oh, it's in the Norway, I watch nearly everyone now. I've got these plates, what printing, oh, printing on. Uh, and everyone is in perfect fine detail like that. Oh. That happens to be a trait. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And of what them. are they used for? Uh, the printing catalogues. They used to make their own catalogues up, see? Look at that, that's that, one of them trophies. But imagine, that had got to be an engraved and uh, uh, etched or whatever they did, how did they do it? That. Have you got one that's a bit plainer there? Ah, uh, yeah. they, 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 they want to lay them out in a page. Oh, I've got light there. That's better. That, what, what is that thing? That's going I don't know. It's, it's a dish with a burner underneath. I don't know what exactly it is. All and oh, cut. Yeah. It must have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's to be engraved. He's gone now. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, shaped, yeah? 
There's somebody employed engraving there, just to put it in like a phone. <laughs> Not making the original of this one, is it? I've shown it to him. He's seen it. The same love goes into these as what they did in those. All right, but he, he inscribed it with a bayonet, so I understand that with a look. On the bottom. How long have you worked here? <laughs> Fortnight. Sixty. <laughs> 63 uh, this year. You just get into it now, eh? What happened? Ah, 63. 1923. <laughs> oh, aye, yeah. Uh, Imperial Tobacco Company have got quite a few photographs in their catalogue. What, what, what is your name, sir? Toyne, T-O-Y-N-E, Jack. So you've worked, you've worked here a lifetime. Three years. Sixty-four in April. Right. Are you being produced in snuff boxes all the time? Uh, no, the majority of uh, a flask, straight flask. Uh, of course, the prohibition years were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Because we made not one, we made thousands for the state. Uh, also a small size. Up to, uh, I've made as many as a hundred in all the gallon. A hundred? At a time. Fitted them under the seats, a Cadillac. Uh, gallon flash, we made quite a lot of gallon. Well, who's going to take over when you finished here then? Young Paul. Young uh, Paul. I think she is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a long way to go yet, aren't he? I'm afraid so. Yeah, she, uh, typical of the young people of today, you know. Know. You can't no. tell them no, that's it. And discipline is what you're trying. No, I can't tell them anything. <laughs> Because you can't tell them up by the train. Well, I mean... Yeah, wait until they just drag and then I'll come out, you know. That's the only way they learn while they, uh, when they run up against it. Yeah. See, Wednesday might be off. Gordon? Is it? Uh, you know?
just in time. He worked here when uh, he worked at mine. and crannies and everything they do. Can't hear you, Alice. Yeah. Come in. Oh, God, Oh, this one. Oh, 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 it's engineers built. Took it out. In fact, he's bought it in the corner. He's left it. He never got it. He's sitting here like a sassy blazer of mine. Here's the piles are playing up. No, no, come on. Yeah, it's a bit like you go. This side of that. Either. Only if his piles are playing up, we're knackered. What's the matter? Ah, the thinker. <laughs> eh? No good. Did they come round and watch factory inspectors? Yeah, that's what Well, the guy's born there, so they see what's I mean about them. See, there's others. Yeah. Others in them cobbles, aren't they? Hey. Generation after generation. That one